everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Hi, my name's Emily and today I'm going to be taking you charity shopping in one of the most wealthy areas of London and one of the best charity shopping areas in London in my opinion. I mean there's some pretty good ones but this is up there. So the goal for today is to try and find some pieces that I can wear around Christmas and also some things I can upcycle and personalise at home and gift to my friends and family for Christmas. So I'm going to be looking for some like homeware, some t-shirts, any tote bags, anything like that that I can use my Cricut Explore 3 which I recently got to personalise, custom at home and gift as like a homemade gift to my friends and family. If this kind of video is your thing then make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. As always all of the info will be linked down below in the description box including exactly where I go charity shopping so without any further ado let's go to London. So guys I'm here so starting off at Octavia on Bolton Road I found some gems in there before so I thought we'd hit there first just because it was easy to hop off the train at Knightsbridge and then probably going to Chelsea some of the shops there because I feel like they're good ones to hit. myself but oh my gosh I'm in love. It was Ralph Lauren, it was £65, the original price, I could only find one online, it was from like 2016, it was 300 but it was at like a discount place so I don't know how much it would have been originally, I would have bought the dress regardless because it was beautiful. So the plan, I'm going to wander down South Kent, hop on District Line and go to Pimlico. There's a cluster of three or four charity shops that actually I think four maybe five. There's like a cluster of them that sounds like that's the perfect place to go. So yeah, I'm gonna hop on the district line and then wander to Pimlico. Oh, you're doing So I'm on route and I spotted a retro mania by Farrah, so I thought we'd pop in there and see what they've got in there. I'm assuming the touch of the prices would be a bit more in there because it's probably like the best bits, but definitely worth a look anyway. Did you say Farrah or Farrah? I don't know. Fill me in in the comments. Okay, wow, there was a gorgeous red Aqua Spews from Coat in there that I just didn't need, but it was stunning and it was only £45. It was very tempting, but I'm trying to like shop smart and not buy things that I'm gonna pass on in a month or so, even if I love them and even if I'm like maybe. I'm trying to think like super realistically about things. So it was a no, but I really wanted it to be a yes. I was racking my brains. I was like, who can I give this to? But I can't. Purchases. I was thinking how lovely would it be if I could find like a denim jacket for Sophie and custom that. She doesn't actually own a denim jacket and I don't know what she wears because I wear mine all the time. So I'm just seeing if I can find the other shops without, oh there's um, Royal Trinity Hospital, but it's just across the road so we'll go there. But I also got a jacket for mum. So it's going really well so far. rider there was a lot of people in there a lot of stock but a lot of kind of like primark zara bits and bobs like that and like zara top like 18 pounds it's like i don't even think it's that new uh so i'm gonna head over to hospices of hope across the street and yeah there's so many i think there's six in this area so i mean obviously i'll have I'll link down below in the description box where I am but absolutely worth coming here I found a couple gems and I'm like really impressed mm -hmm. Honestly, the most interesting charity shop I've ever been in. I think charity shop 
meat, pound shop, second hand items from a pound shop. They have the most random like bits and bobs. It's the best way I can describe it. Anyway, I believe there's a Farah or Farah, however we're saying it, kids store down here, maybe the next one. I believe it might be the next one. And I think that might be worth taking a look in. that's super successful i mean i'm gonna visit some more another day which of course i'll pop in this video but i wanted to make sure i had time to do like all of the shots properly so i wasn't just kind of popping in and out i wanted to actually have time to look through the things but yeah i'm very happy with my purchases today i class that as yeah a success before we get onto the upcycling let me show you what i picked up so like i said i found a ralph lauren dress i am in love can you see the pattern it's gold and black this is right up my street it's strappy at the top they're not adjustable and then it is all the way down to mid midi length and it's got this kind of scalloping edge at the bottom this is right up my street i honestly am over the moon with this it was 65 pounds and i think this is something that's going to stay in my wardrobe forever something that i'm really focusing on this year and going forward in general is buying less but accepting that they're probably going to be more expensive but they're things that i'll keep in my wardrobe forever and then oh this was also 65 pounds i believe oh no, 45 pounds look at this it is a navy ralph lauren velvet jacket and this is it says it's a uk 12 women's 12 but it fits me like an absolute dream and it is just everything i'd hoped obviously i won't be upcycling these things these are just the things i bought for myself but i also bought my mom a hobbs jacket i won't won't be upcycling that but that was a find i think that was 45 pounds and retail they're like a couple hundred i actually have one that i i wore it at school that was my school jacket when quilted jackets like the thing and now mum has a matching one she loves it she was over the moon with it but the bits that i got to upcycle so i got a couple of t-shirts these were actually really good finds they were around a pound each they've all been washed so i got this h&m medium t-shirt it's just a white t-shirt and mum has very kindly washed and ironed them and then i got this unique low one which i thought would be perfect for my little sister she's just getting into like cropped t-shirts this one is an extra small so i thought it was perfect for her and yeah i just thought we could do something fun with them and just make them a bit more her i was kind of thinking what else i looked in the homeware and i found this ikea cup i mean i assume it's ikea they do exactly the same ones ikea but sophie and i always bicker over this we have one downstairs so I thought I would get her this and put her name on it because I just think that's just really sweet and then there'll be no bickering and then I got this as well which was literally 50p and I thought this would be a really fun one to custom for maybe my older sister and it's quite a nice little basket to put little gifts in for them so I thought that could be quite a fun one as well or maybe I might put my sister's oh my goodness my sister's getting married and I might put her married name on it because she's a teacher and she could take this into her school and use it in her classroom i'm gonna do that that's such a great gift idea and then just some other bits that i've kind of got this tote bag thought on this side it'd be really nice to put my sister's name and then i could pop all her little gifts in this bag for christmas i thought that'd be quite nice so this is the cricut explore 3 which i'm going to be using today to custom everything now this machine is so incredibly easy to set up you can literally switch it on download the app which is called the design space and you're pretty much ready to go so the design space you can get on desktop mobile I've chosen to have it on my iPad because there's this nifty little shelf to put your iPad on and this is where you can design everything super quickly and easily. So the machine itself has so many capabilities. It can cut a hundred different materials from paper to vinyl, iron-on and even things like glitter paper and cork. And not only that, it has the capability to draw, foil and score using a scoring stylus. So there is so many things you can do with it, so many things you can create and it's definitely one of those things that when you get going you just get more and more ideas because you realise how much you can do with it so this is the design space i feel like it's giving me so many ideas that it's going to send me off track so we're going to focus on what i'm going to be doing today so i'm going to create a new project so this is the font that i'm going to be using for sophie's you can use literally any font you want but this is just the one i went with i'm going to click make it and then i'm going to click without map because i'm using smart vinyl i don't need a map which is awesome so i'm just confirming that i'm happy with the layout click next I'm then going to select the type of vinyl, which is Smart Vinyl Permanent, and then I'm going to feed my vinyl in using the guides. So what it's doing here is just checking that I have enough vinyl, so that's all ready to go, and then I literally just click play. 
And that's literally how easy and quick it is. So this is how it's looking. I've just cut roughly around and I'm going to pull the backing away to reveal the design. Literally the most simple thing. So I'm just gonna grab my transfer tape. So I'm just gonna try and line this up so I can make sure I get it straight on the mug. Scraper, just to make sure all of the air is out and it's definitely on there. And then I simply peel it off and it's on the transfer tape. And now I get to decide where I'm going to put it on the cup. I just pop it on. And again, I'm just gonna use my scraper to make sure it's all stuck down the reveal. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Time to do the iron on. So I've decided we should do something different. I've downloaded some cute little images and look at, well, graphics, I guess. Look at this. This says family is a gift that lasts forever. And I just think this on that floral bag will look so, so cute. So the colors I have for iron ons are right here. I think I might do a white. Oh, or could, I could do gold. I could do sparkly gold, actually. That's very festive, isn't it? So I'm thinking size wise, we'll do about eight inches. And again, I'm clicking with that map because it's a smart material so that's giving me a rough size of about this which is perfect so i'm going to click next and as previously i'm going to pick so this is smart iron on glitter so as i'm ironing on i've clicked mirror and then i'm going to load my vinyl so it's all ready to go i'm just going to click go and that's it done so i'm just going to click to release so I've just pulled away the excess and now I'm going to take out the little holes in the center. This is potentially the most satisfying part of the whole process. So my Easy Press 2 is all heated up. Now, something I never realized before I got the Easy Press 2 is an iron actually is an equal heat throughout. It only heats at certain points, whereas this is an even heat throughout. So your whole design is going to be evenly ironed on, which is so massive, especially you don't want peeling around the edges or anything. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. And then I'm literally going to sit my Easy Press on and then I'm going to click the timer for 30 seconds, click go, and it will count down for me so I don't actually have to worry about remembering how long it's been on for anything of the sorts so it's just beat i'm going to pull it off are you ready for the reveal i mean you can see it anyway but the satisfaction oh i love it okay that is perfect Family is a gift that lasts forever. Adorable, she's going to love that. So for the t-shirt that I found, I really wanted something kind of sistery, but not the word sister, I wanted it to be quite subtle. And I think instead of putting it on the chest or anything, I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the top. Oh, I love, it's like me and Soph. Yeah, cute. I'm going to grab my Easy Press 2, pop it on, and then I'm going to set the timer for 30 seconds. I love it, that's so cute. I'll show you at the end, like an overall look. Okay, let's transfer this onto the box. It's as simple as me popping the name on. So I've stuck it down, I'm scraping all of the air out, just make sure it's stuck totally. And then, we peel. So easy, and it looks so pro. So these are all the bits that I have created this afternoon ready for Christmas. Make sure you follow along on my Instagram if you wanna see what else I'm creating for Christmas, but I definitely think that these two are my favorites. This is definitely going to make my life so, so easy. My idea of an easy life, but yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to give this as a gift. I'm modeling the top so you can see the placement, but I think it's perfect. It's like not too much, but it's definitely there. So I feel like every time she wears it, she's gonna be like, oh, my sis is here with me. So my friends, that is it for today's video. I've had the best day. Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring part of this video. Like I said, all of the info about Cricut and the charity shops will be linked down below in the description box. But yeah, thank you so, so much Cricut. I've had the best afternoon crafting. I feel like super prepared for Christmas now. I've easily got five or six people's gifts ticked off. So that's great. But I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.